Nice. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Hi, Ben. You could have come up here, Ben. You should have. I should have. I should have. <laughs> oh, well, too late. Yep. Well, anyway, uh, obviously, we're at the Howard, and we have special guests Jocko and hey. Daniel. So they were on the tour last year. Uh, as was, Am I, not a special I brought guest? my check one. No, you're not special. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say, oh, I brought my special. checkbook. Huh? I brought my checkbook. Oh, you brought your checkbook. <laughs> nice. I got to pay for the trip. Nice. Yes. Hello, everyone. We're here. Uh, forgive the computer screen kind of in the way, but we figured this was the best way to kind of. We're a mobile operation tonight. Yeah, it's kind of. I have the, the dash cam set up and microphone Webcam. and everything. And is, that a, is that a Viper back there? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, That's nice. Hard. Hold we on. already we already got the jokes. Is that smoke I smell? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. When, yes, when it Richard is. watches us tomorrow, he's yeah, gonna he'll cry like, a little bit. He'll be like, yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> uh, love the shirt, Jocko. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 like I had to put this shirt on so I could go to the liquor store because I was afraid Naomi at the liquor store would have a fit. <laughs> <laughs> you already on a first name basis, Jocko? Uh, well, I've been there. I've been. That's the store I've been to the most. And uh, <laughs> really, you've yeah. been here like a week. I was saying, <laughs> oh, my wife started drinking, and I pretty soon was like, "Well, shit." <laughs> uh, I was super bummed because I I was gonna make myself I'm out of sours. I'm out of sour. What's what's the sour in an amaretto sour? Is it? It's just a sour mixer. Oh, it's a mix. Well, I didn't. I, I would. Yeah. I yes, I should have. <laughs> but well, I didn't. I mean, it's not too late. Maybe someone in Austin could come, like, drop one off yeah. the Howard. Dude, how weird would it be if somebody actually showed up with sour? I would. I mean, they might get a T-shirt. It wouldn't be like the first time someone's done something kind of crazy. Oh, hey, from Detroit. Hell yeah. Nice. Nice. Ron. Got the D town representing. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, uh, yeah. So Jocko is a former race car driver. Well, sort of, yeah. Sort of. One hundred percent more than I am. <laughs> I spent a lot of time doing it. <laughs> yeah. So that that's. I was actually kind of chatting with him on on the way over here about that, and because like to me, it's always like it's an interesting career because I don't know that 
like it seems like nowadays unless you're like in the top tiers you, it's really hard like, yeah that's and now it takes i mean you could never do what i do yeah yeah like the the, the <laughs> regulation the tier is gone yeah it's all backed by big big money right yeah and it's either a lot of dad's money or a lot of guys do is they leverage themselves they sell shares in the race car company in themselves what yeah you get don't you get people to give you money and if you make it to the top then every time you win they get part of the winnings so they get a share oh mm -hmm. <laughs> i like that there's actually a guy racing indy cars we didn't put a limit on his shares and he's still paying Ooh. And he <laughs> ends <at the> front. <laughs> oh damn i mean Lost yeah every, there, huh? yeah every, every level even in f1 you have to bring the money it's not like f1 drivers are unless you're, I mean, unless you're a lewis hamilton yeah unless yeah, Alonso, exactly yeah i mean when there, you're like arguably one of the best drivers in all time right. it's a different story but for the 99.9 percent .9 of the rest of the race yeah. car drivers it seems like yeah as jocko told me the quickest way to become a millionaire is to be a billionaire and go racing yeah right? yeah you find me a billionaire i can turn him into a millionaire oh yeah <laughs> yeah i've heard that i always heard <laughs> like true. what's the quickest way to have five million dollars in a race car <laughs> start with 10 million yeah. <laughs> that's just way to make a small fortune in racing is to spend a large fortune <laughs> yeah <laughs> Formula One starts next week, by the way. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Bahrain is today. Yeah. Testing at Bahrain is today. And, okay. Uh, yeah. I, have to start getting that ramped up here. Part, yeah. part of me wants to go to Miami, but at the same time, like, it's probably going to be a just crazy, crazy time. Yeah. GA tickets, I heard, are over $1,000. Yeah. What? Oh. And they're yeah. sold out now, anyway. I was invited oh. to go be a marshal for Miami. Ooh. Like, they really? actively contacted me and was like oh, wow. to be a I'm kind of surprised you did I wanted to but with the deal yeah. starting up yeah. I was like man this is yeah. not the right time the to right go time. Mm -hmm. uh, Lo loyal to the business you and Josh even though I'm sure you guys probably would have oh heard, someone said uh I'm in your hometown I think are you in Kalamazoo <laughs> that's my hometown <laughs> oh I saw the video and Ben is a boozer <laughs> 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 He calls me this on every single live we do. <laughs> hey, you have a reputation. Dude, yeah. I mean, look, we got you we got you filmed drunk as hell. It's a heck of a video. Was, I, nobody can even really tell what you're saying. Oh, I, I finally while I edit it like, you know, this many times now, I finally think I understood it. You, you said something like, if I had my cell phone, you'd all be Stripping or something? <laughs> I think I said something like, "If I was sober right now, you would all be stripping." I have no idea what it is. That's what it was. <laughs> I don't know. It was <laughs> what? And then and then uh, Stu's all like, Woo! "Yeah." And he does the carry. <laughs> the carry. Oh my god, that was that was some high levels of drunk. <laughs> it was. I'm sorry, I missed that trip. Dude, the, I mean, plus the speed. Yeah, the first year of the tour was. But that's just, you were going in the middle of COVID. Yeah, I, it's that's never what, it's never going to be reproduced. Right. Yeah. There's never going to be that many people not on their own. Yeah. Yeah. That was insane because I mean, we just everywhere we went there was no one. I mean, we just hauled so much ass. Uh, Did he care? That, he means we never went over the speed limit. Right. We hauled ass at the speed limit. <laughs> 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 People who haven't seen the video yet are like, what the hell is this? <laughs> but I'm assuming if people are here watching us live, they've probably watched the video. From today. I, would, I would hope so. Probably. I'm, I'm sure of the 68 people here, we need one more, by the way. 68 people that are here, probably 67 of them have seen the video from today. Oh, will that Pete Jocko? Will that piece to make it to M119? It's already been on M119, but that's what, too bumpy. What is the M119? That's a shore road in Harbor Springs going up towards the bridge. Oh. Is it like known for people hauling ass on it or something? Uh, <laughs> it's a little yeah. too bumpy for that, but the 48, you can haul ass on that. But the piece does like gets too. Poor Poissy. <laughs> oh, did they freeze? Poor Poissy. Yeah, I think they froze. They froze. I guess we take a oh, 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 there it was. We froze for a second. <laughs> that was something. Right. Well, Gabe and I were about to make this the, the Gabe, Steve, and Ben show. 
<laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we're, we're unfortunately we're not at home, so we're not on my normal connection, which is still terrible. But so how, how did Mitch wireless. how did Mitch know about the M one one nineteen? Is that a, a popular road? That's a very scenic road in Harbor Springs, going north out of town. It's it's the Tunnel of Trees, and it is very famous. Really? Oh yeah. Oh wow. I mean, people come all over to go drive that and if you're driving it in the fall oh. with all the colors yeah you're going about 10 miles an hour with 150 yeah. of your closest friends <laughs> yeah no in a town that has 19 what 1700 people <laughs> i looked i looked m i looked up m119 and it's a howitzer it's a it's a gun <laughs> <laughs> no that's in ukraine that's the wrong yeah, yeah right. wrong, <laughs> wrong m119 <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. I did <laughs> being 95% Irish descent, I steer clear of alcohol. I get drunk by osmosis. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's actually a good move. You get to drive all the exotics yeah. because everyone else is drunk. Right. I mean, if you're hanging out with a bunch of supercar owners, that's a, that's a legit way to get to drive right. some good cars because definitely that happens regularly. Yeah. There's like, oh, I'm loaded here. Take my. <laughs> Take my keys. Unless you're lame like me, I don't drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, Adam with the fancy cut. <laughs> yeah. And Steve. and Steve. That looks super Yeah, cool. Steve, Steve's got the, the faux hawk, right? Uh, I'm working it. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend doesn't like it. <laughs> oh, here you go. What's the next car? Mm. Don't know yet. <laughs> got to sell the current car. We got to get rid of the uh, the super Legera. Yeah. So if anybody wants to buy it, yeah, yeah, take that off our hands. Uh, super Legera's got to go. We're still waiting for the insurance company to pay us in the California. Once once that happens, we'll be buying the next thing. Is this guy's gonna... supercar? I'd like to buy your super G. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? I was calling uh, supercar. No answer. Dan, did you drive a piece that no? Not yet. <laughs> Not, oh, that's a yet? Oh, oh. hey, Bob. I got to talk to the insurance <laughs> company, too. <laughs> they're like, wait, didn't that guy just wreck a Ferrari? <laughs> I'm not going to tell him that. Yeah, they're like, no. Jocko, did you make it out to uh, Dakota yet? I went out to see it. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay. And I was so surprised how fast the challenge cars actually are. I mean, I was surprised. Yeah. I thought they'd be slower. Where'd you watch from? What what turn? Well, I just uh, I went up to I just went down to the beginning of the straight or front straight and yep. the end of the front straight. Okay, so you saw that massive hill. Yeah, that looks. Uh, yeah. One looks. That's gonna take a while. It's so awesome. You, you figure that out. Break break it's much harder than you expect. The, the gravity hard. assists the braking so much. Yeah, right, because you can drive in there deep and then. Oh, the on my steel brakes, I can break at like the hundred meter board. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> but what's crazy is if you. It's like it's a knife edge because if you go like two feet too far, it Straight goes flat. Down. Yeah, and so oh, then so you're you screwed. Yeah, so yeah. you got to hit because like you, you have to be on the gravity assist, okay. otherwise you a, get flat. You're like, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of runoff. Then. Yeah, lots of. Thankfully, runoff. there's a huge uh, yeah a huge runoff, runoff, and then there's a huge rock. So, so Ben, Ben, yes. are you an, an instructor there? I am. Okay. Man, I could use all the help I could get if there's a track. Yeah, no. I'm an instructor at, at, with Edge Addicts, Chin Track Days, and Porsche Austin. Wow. Really? Well, I could use all the help <laughs> I could they, get. They don't, they don't give you any money, though, do they? Well, I mean, Porsche Austin, it's a paid gig, but the other ones, I'm doing it just for fun and for track. Yeah. yeah. Is, Is that, that a free track? Yeah, yeah, free what track. track. I mean, oh, oh, there you go. Bit. Hippo character, yeah. yes. <laughs> it is not a trap. Ben, reenact that. Collapse <laughs> your chair, and break. <laughs> and then his computer. <laughs> oh, hey Adam, how many kilos did you ship this week? <laughs> Do I look like a drug dealer or something? <laughs> it's your hair. It's it's your hair. hair. Like Pablo. Hair like Pablo. Yeah, Pablo. Pablo Adamo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that uh, drug dealers parted their hair. I don't know. I mean, I think it's kind of the stash. Yeah. The yeah. stash with the hair. Oh, yeah. It's pretty luscious. <laughs> luscious. 
<laughs> Ooh. Good. Oops. Here we go. Good question. Thoughts on the 296 GTB? Looks good. I want to see it in person, yeah. but I think I'm going to be really sad about the sound. Is that right? Yeah. I, I just. It doesn't sound like a V8. Dude, look what happened with the 48. A bunch of people are like, oh, the 48 sucks because it doesn't sound like a Ferrari. Whatever. The times are changing, man. You gotta you gotta move with it. Well, even the pizza doesn't sound like it. <laughs> <laughs> that that is actually not bad. Yeah, that's pretty close. I mean, the pizza is throaty, but it doesn't sound like a normally aspirated car. Right? No, no. And I have you heard pistas at full bore on the racetrack? No. From the outside, kind, kind of, of a flat sound. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. Okay, it's got to be better than the Ford GT. Yes. <laughs> the yes. V6. Yes. I, I must be the one percent of car people that doesn't really care about how loud a car is or isn't. Uh, I mean, I like some. It's, but it's not about loud. It's the, yeah, it's the really loud. sound, the tone. Oh, I think with ninety-nine percent of people, it's about loud. Well, I think yeah, the four five eights that you guys that you do, they all sound like F one cars, and I'm like, oh yeah, right. that's cool yeah. shit. Exactly. <laughs> that's I want to, yeah. That's the part of, to me. Here's the problem: when you grew up and you heard Ferraris, you heard that sound, that F one sound. That's yeah. to me associated in my brain with a Ferrari. A Ferrari has to sound like that. Yep. But it doesn't. It doesn't sound like a Ferrari. It sounds like a different car. The first F1 race I went to, I came to Austin to volunteer in 2013. It was the last year of the V8s. It was the first time I'd been to an F1 race, and I literally shed a tear when I heard the cars going by. <laughs> like first year, it was a soft tear, but it was it was the last year of the V8s. That was my yes. first. Year. Yes, F1. the first year was the only year. 2012. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no it, was the, it was the second year. It was 2013. So they still had the V8s. Ah. Yeah, um, I think did didn't they have the V10s in 2012? No, no. V8s. They was haven't had, had, they haven't had V10s. But, uh, in the 90s, that was that long? Oh, no, I, I think they, they had V10s in the 2000s. Adam. Yeah. Did they? Yeah. yeah I'm pretty sure. I it, all, right. well, all I all I remember is that I'm first up. the first year 2012 when we came here. Yep. We, we we only had GA tickets uh, or whatever, and it was so loud. Like yeah, your yeah. ears were bleeding basically. Yep. From one car going by, and when yeah. they all went by, you're like, my head yeah. just exploded. It's so yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Adam, did you win a hair uh, subscription with a hair salon or something? <laughs> <laughs> I got tired of being a bum. <laughs> oh, look who's here! It's Fred. Fred, how you doing? Fred's here! Yay! Oh yeah, dude. NASCAR. NASCAR is. Freaking loud. NASCAR is coming to Coda in two weeks. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Two weeks? Is it yep. really? Yeah. Two weeks already? March 26, 27, something like that. So I'm going last weeks. year, but I'm not going to. I don't think I'm going to go this year. You guys ever go to the motorcycle race? No, I need to. I, I, I was a March on that one. one. Nice. I, it's pretty It's pretty affordable to go to the MotoGP race. Yeah. yeah. I tried racing motorcycles. Really? Oh, first race guy got killed. I said, "That's enough of that." <laughs> I don't. I won't do more sales. Courage GT does sound really. Anthony, really I better. agree one hundred percent. The yep. best, yeah. one of the best sounding cars of all time. Yes. Yeah. Courage GT, even the uh, LFA. Uh, sounds uh, incredible. Uh, yep. Uh, a uh, good exhaust on a Mercy is just heaven. Oh, dude. dude yeah. Big time. When you I get could hear you down the road, you were like two blocks away, and I could hear you. Oh, the Super G. Yes. Yeah. That's Dude, that's super, super, super sounds sound incredible. It does sound. It does sound cool. It, I, man, I'm gonna be really sad to see that thing go. <laughs> that's actually a really nice car. I could. It is. It's that's a fantastic. Cool car. Are you gonna Are you gonna put it up? Like, put a number on it? Or are you just gonna let people make offers? Dan. I mean, we're starting at 165, but obviously we're open to negotiation. Mm -hmm. That's you know, a fair question. So. Well, I mean, that's. People have to remember it's got a brand new People, clutch. Yeah, exactly. People are like, oh, there's other ones that are cheaper. I'm like, yeah, and they need a clutch. And we just spent $10,000 on exhaust. So, yeah. Yeah, you know. You can't ex always expect I know. to get the exhaust. Back. No, I, I don't expect it to be a one-for-one -one return on the exhaust. Yeah. But, you know, we basically have dropped $20,000 into that car in the last, what, few months or whatever. So factor that in. Did yeah. you ride in it, Jocko? Is that where Dan picked you? No, up? I, I got to sit in it at the car oh, show, and it was cool. I was like, drive man, it. this is really sweet. You need yeah. to drive it. I liked it a lot. We'll throw you in it. I liked it. I was very impressed. I love the interior. 
The Alcantara yeah. dashboard. Oh, that is so yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. It's and so it's modern. modern. That car as opposed to another car. Yeah, yeah no, no. <laughs> it's funny. Jacko said the Mercy Lago. He's like, how the fuck do you see this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you don't. You're supposed to be seen. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Oh, oh, damn. Meg's was... got a new dress on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Damn, Jocko. You're... You just said Meg's got a new dress on. <laughs> oh, oh, Fred. What'd you say, Fred? Jacko, I'm going to come down to Austin and steal your rims and replace them with my crappy F8 wow. ones. <laughs> Freddy, you cannot call them rims. They're oh. wheels. Wheels, wheels. Don't whatever. say rims. They're probably yeah. light enough to rims. carry all them together. The rim is the part of a wheel. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Well, you know, those of us that grew up with rims. Yeah. <laughs> your dubs. Oh, here's a question. How many brake sensors, thank you, does an F430 oh, no, have? No, no. I can't drink too I mean, much. I'm going to drive. You bet. Uh, do they have brake okay. se sensors on the brake pads? Like wear packs? You're talking or like wear, wear sensors? I'm assuming that's what you mean is wear sensors. In which case, there would be one on each wheel, generally. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know that answer. Sounds like not a popular thing an owner knows. We have several owners and ex-owners that know. I mean, the unless you like, drive your car, it's going to take forever for the pads for, to get worn out, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm always kind of curious because I've seen a lot of people be like, oh, like, I had to get new brake pads on my 458. And I'm like, really? How many miles do you have it? And they're like, oh, like 15,000. I'm like, so. I mean, you must try yeah. it. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, have you better, ever had it on the track? Like, no. I'm like. Oh, that's something wrong there. I'm like, uh, so someone's trying to fleece you for no reason. Yeah. I'm like, did your did your brake sensor light come on? They're like, no. I'm like, well, see, there's a little thing in there that you know when the brake pad gets too thin, the light comes on, and, and then you have come... thousands of miles before. You yeah, need to... you lose any braking prior to that pad getting soft? Right? No, your pistons stay unless you glaze them or something. You shouldn't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I've. Uh... My Camaro has carbon ceramics, my Z28, and I've gone through at least 10 sets of pads on that thing on the track. But I mean, mm -hmm. it'll come on, and then I can do two more sessions before I have to pull the pads off, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, once the sensor. Not very. Jocko, yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Jocko says not very. <laughs> and that's what would scare me about having those wheels on the honestly. street. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. trust me, I'm very careful when I drive it because I've come yeah. close once and I was like, no, no, don't even. Ooh, here you go. If you were driving your mask, one supercar I'd drive forever, Ooh. what one would it be? 458. Four, yeah, five, I was going to say, I know Dan's answer. <laughs> I'm a simple man. A simple man. Man. Well, I never got to realize how great my car was until I did the tour. <laughs> I mean, I was just like, I said, you know, even though it's a convertible, and it's got a little bit of flex. It's I have still, some questions. It's totally great car. I have some questions to qualify that. Do I have to pay for the supercar? Do I have <laughs> to pay for the maintenance of the supercar? If if those two things are no option and I can daily drive it, I'll get an F1. Give me a McLaren F1. I will daily drive them. Oh, oh. Ooh, look at this uh, yeah. guy. Look at you stepping out of the box. I yeah, no, you know, affordability. Me, I mean, get me a uh, whatever. What's it called? LMR L L L M Lansante Motorsport. Uh, GT or not? What they call the McLaren F1 LM? Give me one of those. I would drive the piss out of it. Some yeah, of that's all. <laughs> I like this. One of my car buddies had a 430. His mechanic took it out for a test drive, but didn't latch the hood, and the hood blew clean off. Any advice? Wow. No, it wasn't the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get his insurance. Yeah, though. yeah. I mean, whoever the mechanic needs to pay for that shit. <laughs> that's that's like. <laughs> That's pretty that simple. Has, uh, insurance, you know. Did it crack the windshield? Yeah, yeah it probably did. Oh, yeah. yep. It would have had to have cracked the windshield, too. It had to have. Probably damaged the roof, too. It might have damaged the roof. Steve, yeah. you got any more games? The cool thing about roofs, though, is they're really <laughs> thin, and they can just pop that out. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's all aluminum. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it's super thin and pliable up there, so as long as the paint doesn't break. I've actually seen that happen before. Somebody was driving to their appointment when I was in the insurance adjuster, and they called me and were like, oh, I'm going to be late because my hood flew open. 
because <laughs> was damaged from the accident. Uh, and they're like, the windshield's cracked and the roof is dead. <laughs> oh, and they're like, what do I do? Jocko, why are the piece of stable mates? What else you got? Uh, I got a 246 GTS, uh, oh. the 458. I've got a 57 BMW Isetta. <laughs> yes, dude. That's awesome. Yes, you're my hero. Yes. <laughs> do you ever drive that around? I do, but I mean, it's been, it quit on me like two years ago, and we haven't been able to get it started. <laughs> oh, my God. Ship it down here. Let's get it fixed. Well, it'll be great here because I got it to use dude, it just, as a summer just, car. Just throw it in your trunk. <laughs> I got it as a summer car. It will go up the hill to the grocery store about as fast as you can walk. Yeah. It's got 13 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually more than I expected. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, you know what we'll do is we'll go buy like a commercial riding mower. We'll steal a Kawasaki engine out That's of it. it. It's probably got like 25 horse on it, you know? <laughs> dude, that's awesome. Uh, yes, Megan reviews BMW Isetta. Dude, <laughs> I honest to God, I want to review that so bad. That Come to Michigan because it has its original, so the rear wheels. One wheel is actually kicked out because that's the way the motor hooks up better. So it hobby horses down the road. Oh my God. <laughs> you gotta it's get you in that. 45, day. it feels like about 150. You drive it 45 miles an hour? I've driven it 45 no, miles an hour. I don't think 45 miles an hour. That sounds scary as shit. It was scary as shit. I thought it was gonna go away. <laughs> I was going to the car show. I was late. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's one scary car. Oh man, here we go. What hyper car would you drive across the country in if you could? Honda. Yeah, Pagani. Ooh, Huayra BC. <laughs> yeah, let me yeah. Go. A which one? A Huayra. I'll oh. go with Koenigsegg. Maybe. Yeah, that would probably Oof. be more. Yeah. I want to try that. Yeah, that would be pretty amazing. So you know that for Formula One, there was those twenty-five or twenty-eight Paganis that came to Austin. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, like seven of them dro drove by uh, my house and I chased them down and found, I think I, we, I told you guys this, but yep. one of those guys drove his fire from California to Texas for that event and drove Good it. Good hero. Wow. Yeah. And it's a, uh, it's, it's one of those, uh, it's, it's a red carbon, like it looks like the back of your computer screen. Uh, oh. Dude, oh, really? that car, my God. Wow. And and young dude smiling, happy. I, I chased him down with my truck and stopped and like took pictures and stuff. And dude, <laughs> just awesome, just awesome. And the, the guy drove it from California to here and back after Formula One. Just awesome. <laughs> That's the only car I would ever want to drive through West Texas and ever again. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if you guys ever heard this, but um, so our friends Jeff and Stu had a term that they created which I think would epitomize that, which is like, if you're rolling around in like a supercar, it's a beautiful day out and you're just having a fucking awesome day. They, they, they were joking about like, so they were, they were on a drive and they're like, man, we're driving around or whatever. And like, all of a sudden people pull up next to you at a stoplight and they look over at you and you're just sitting there smiling like a dumbass, right? You're like, <laughs> like having a grand old time. And they said, yeah, we're the smiling motherfuckers. So <laughs> they call it the SMF crew. Oh god. Wow. wow. That guy is an yeah. SMFer. <laughs> and that was by my house. Oh, wow. Wow. on Pagani on Pagani. I chased him with my truck. Yeah. So, just heaven. This guy drove across the country. <laughs> heard amazing. I mean, is that sort of one up and shit from a Ferrari? Six up and shit. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. Those are oh, three really? million dollars a piece. <laughs> So I know that um, Horatio was in town for that event. Yes. Like, he actually was driving with them. Like, uh, I, I still remember that because, like, actually, funny enough, my realtor, who is my friend, he sent me a picture like, dude, check this out. I just saw this car drive by my house. I'm like, holy crap, it's Pagani. And then, like, <laughs> five minutes later, Ben, you're like, Oh my God, did you see this? And I'm like, holy shit. And so like, and all of a sudden, like two minutes later, Facebook and Instagram were just like, kaboom. Yes. So th that guy, uh, like I, I put, it, put it on my Instagram, like, hey, does anybody know any of these people to tag them? Five of those guys got tagged on my Instagram. So yes, 
that guy with the red uh, red Pagani, his uh, handle is one slow CRX. <laughs> and he drives a Pagani everywhere. <laughs> oh. I know. We saw David Lee's, man. That thing oh. was... It's one of those cars you have to have. You need, you need like a couple hours to just sit there and look over every yeah. inch of the car. <laughs> Because it's just so much detail. You can't, like, no picture on earth does those cars justice. No, because like, even the carbon fiber weave. Oh, the weave is just perfect. Is, yeah. Like, every those angle every angle of the carbon fiber is at a perfect 90 degrees. I want to know how many pieces they waste oh, before God. they're able to like, get it. make that <laughs> perfect. Oh. Yeah. Because I'm just going to titanium weave through as well, too. Oh, so uh, well, it's there? Yeah, so that way if you crash, it won't Ooh. shatter the way that normal. Uh, Here's a question for you. Well. Yeah. Here's a fr- question for you, Jacko. Oh, What's the greatest great. race car ever made? And also, how would you define greatest? The one you win, yeah. right, Jacko? Oh, question. Yeah, the one I won in the most. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably right. Yes. I don't know. Which one I did you win in the most? Uh, that would be a Swift Formula Atlantic car. Swift Formula Atlantic yeah. car. Okay. Zero to hunt the standing start to it 100 and under five seconds. Wow, that's legit. Yeah. Wow, be sure your head's on the back of the launch pad yeah, right. bed before you hit the launch control. Other <laughs> first time I did that, it's like I didn't see the track for <laughs> two seconds. What about I the rest? The Ferrari V12s have always been my favorites. V12. I was a huge Ferrari fan just growing up because I love the sound of those V12s. Yeah. You talking about yeah. early Schumacher F1 V12? Say again? Are you saying like Formula One V12? Yes. Oh yes. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, back in, when they were up in seventeen thousand before yeah. they went really crazy to nineteen thousand. Yeah. <laughs> so insane. It's hard y'all, the rest of y'all. I don't understand it's how it's they hung really together. Understood. I mean, I don't understand right? how those motors worked. Yeah. How they stay together? It's yeah. Jeez, okay. I mean, what's the reciprocating force in that side? Well, and then back then they were only designed to do one race. Right. Yeah. They changed the engines every race, whereas now they have to do like six or eight races or something with the engine. Yeah. Because we only have a motor last one or two races at best. I mean, they were always what you were doing. Yeah. Really? Well, they were. Always, you were always. So having, you were high strung that that. Yeah. Uh, you were always uh, having motors my, rebuilt. I lost my father was yeah. because the motor wasn't. I said the motor's soft, and they said no, it's not. And I lost the race. They said, "Oh, you're right." <laughs> <laughs> my father-in-law owned a NASCAR team in the '90s, and he said that they would build a qualifying engine that was meant to last two and a half laps. Yeah. <laughs> Man. And then they would put the race. Have you watched the uh, top fuel dragsters engines get torn down and rebuilt? It's yeah. Insane. Dude, right? those things, they're literally la- they're designed to last for seconds. eight seconds. seconds. One, yeah, one run. <laughs> yeah, one run. And it's like if you go past that, that's when the blower just goes bye. <laughs> they're almost yeah. hydrolock during the whole. They hydrolock, yeah. As I say, the only reason that happens is they hydrolock. Because that right? But the magneto will fail. And do you realize the so the magnetos burn that. out in the first like half a second? Yep. And then they the diesel. Car, it diesels the rest diesel of the way down the whole run. <laughs> yeah. There's, there, so you've got a 5,000 horsepower nitromethane diesel engine. <laughs> you got to shut the fuel off to stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have to cut the fuel. I want to know what's the... Uh, oh, so it's like a runaway diesel. Then. Yeah. yeah. Have yeah. you ever seen diesel. a runaway diesel? Oh, it's cool. <laughs> Dude, those are great. It depends on if you're the owner of the... Yeah, you're yeah. driving. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. No, if you want to really see something nuts, there's videos where they show... How much fuel the fuel oh, yeah. pump push on a on, on a top wheel dragster, and so they just show like a, a fake like a clear cylinder, right? Right. And they have the fuel injectors at the top, <laughs> and so they show it like running at idle. It's like okay, they have a decent amount of fuel, and also I'm like here we go full throttle, and it just looks like a a, it looks it looks like a solid pumps. wall of water. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what the hell? How does it even ignite? That's what my question was going to be. It's probably really volatile fuel. Yeah, probably. Well, I mean, that's more the, so the gasoline. Well, it is because it has its own oxygen. Yeah, that's, oh, why, yeah. that's why it's amazing. Well, we learned from F1 to put toluene in your fuel. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we found out how carcinogenic it was, and nobody would get near it. <laughs> right oh, it's, man. it's good it's up on the lift i'm about ready to tear into it and put a new exhaust in it oh yeah nice, oh, yeah. nice. 
Nice, Steve. What, what exhaust you put in? I, I'm, I did a, I'm going to do a stainless steel X pipe. I you got didn't a, build it? I'm not, I didn't build it. No, I just, okay. I got a knockoff brand. Okay. And I'm going nice. to put the headers in and take the uh, original ones out. Cool. Nice. So, I think Steve's coming, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Steve's already signed up for the Yeah, tour. you beat me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Number two, you beat me. <laughs> you kind of made it happen. <laughs> yeah. So you get credit. Steve, that'll be the car for Colorado. Unless something else happens between now and then, but yes, that'll be the car. <laughs> yeah. So the Ferrari California, um, just waiting on the insurance. So, I mean, it's totaled. We're just waiting. Well, and the insurance is waiting on the title. Yeah, and the insurance is waiting on the title. So it's not actually so it, yeah, technically so the insurance fault. It's just is it, we is it at some junkyard somewhere now. No, it's no, it's, a, it's, it's here at the Howard. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it outside? Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, because we're like, whatever. It's not our car anymore. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? I mean, it gets totaled again or something. Yeah. Right, right. We're like, what was someone gonna go? Steal the shit off his of broken car. parts off of it. <laughs> I'm surprised that they haven't come to pick it up yet. Well, they're not going to until they buy it. Yeah. Yeah, but they, I mean, they're going to buy it. So, yeah, yeah. I would think that they would want to get that thing into office. Fred, I'm, Fred, I'm 35 days away, sir. I'm 30, How many? 30? 35 days. Not that you're counting. I, not that I'm counting at all. <laughs> Jeez, he has you have the number of days memorized. Like oh, <laughs> oh shit. Tesla cloud update. Okay. <laughs> you guys will wait, what happened? Oh, you didn't hear about this. No, no, no I didn't hear about it. I hear about anything okay. that goes on with our cars. I love when Adam doesn't know about stuff. He finds this out. I don't because Dude. I'm part you know oh, Richard's just okay, class. okay. Even I heard about this. So this is this is yeah. <laughs> This is nuts. This is laughing over there. Okay, right. okay, okay. So check this out. The okay, you guys saw that we did the plaid, and whatever. Okay, so oh, yeah. the viewer who let us have the plaid basically like said, "Hey, I'm just going to leave it with you guys for a while." I'm like, "Cool." So it was here in Austin for a couple of weeks, and then he said, "Hey, try and sell it through your dealership if you can. Basically, do a consignment." So we tried. We couldn't find a buyer because whatever. Anyway, so he. Um, sent his employee down to pick up the car and drive it home on Tuesday, Tuesday of this week. So, <laughs> so Tuesday evening, we get a text message at like 8.30 at night. It's like, hey, so uh, Tesla got picked up. All is good. Thanks a lot. Blah, blah, blah. By the way, uh, my employee drove the Tesla downtown to go get dinner or whatever meet up some friends oh no it's like a business dinner right doing some sort of business dinner on the way there he's at a stoplight some homeless guy comes up and just starts taking a like a lawn chair and stole stone cold steve austin just oh. beat the shit out of the car <laughs> no kidding what? dead serious oh, no. dead serious <laughs> So, so it, don't worry, it gets better. Oh, no. <laughs> so then the police get called. They arrest the, the homeless guy or whatever for, you know, I don't know, whatever. The car is messed up, but it's still drivable. So, <laughs> so the next day, the dude starts driving it back to their house, which is in North Carolina or whatever. And I think he made it to Arkansas. And the tire exploded. No. Completely exploded. Oops. And so, and so then, I didn't hear this part. So then they're like, "Oh well, guess what? Those are some weird size tire. We don't, we can't find one. So they <laughs> they have to special special order the tire. So they couldn't get a tire. So they shipped the car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> I had an insurance claim where a homeless guy yeah. threw a, a scooter through the back window of a Prius. <laughs> And dude, when we saw that claim come through, we were like, "There's no way," because it literally said like homeless man threw scooter through rear window. <laughs> and we we're like, "No way! That there's no way this happened." So we went on the Reddit, the Austin subreddit. Oh, and somebody posted a video <laughs> on Twitter and linked it there, wow. and we found it, and we were like, "All right, <laughs> it did, it did happen." <laughs> Guess we're gonna take this claim out, oh dude. God. Unreal. Seriously, John. Uh, 
So the, the dude was all like, hey, just so you know, your shit luck is rubbed off onto my Tesla. <laughs> yeah. Say, at least it wasn't you, dude. Totally no, weird. I know. But when I, dude, when I saw the follow-up, and the first thing I saw is, so the tire shredded and exploded. I was like, oh, no. And I was like, oh, God, please don't tell me it totally crashed or something. And, oh, jeez. <sighs> yeah. Jeez. There's the Tesla update. Thanks, thanks for reminding me, Richard. Yeah, I was I was going to do a video about it, but I just was like, you know, it's almost like unbelievable how much bad shit's happened in the last. Yeah, people month. would say, yeah, really they're gonna be like, up. you're rigging it, yeah, you're, you're like, like, you're doing this. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> Jack was like, so, yeah, about my pee stuff. <laughs> you notice it hasn't moved yet since I've been here, right? <laughs> Insurance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which actually, speaking of that, we just literally right before we came here filmed an insurance video, just going into insurance and talking awesome. about that stuff. I, I think that'll be a, a helpful video to to some people. It's gonna do terrible. Yeah, yeah. No one's no one's gonna watch it, but those that watch it are gonna really appreciate it. <laughs> We're gonna stay for the end. Yeah, yeah. We even said that in the video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi, hi, all six of you watching this video. <laughs> so, I mean, that's the thing, though. It's like this channel, sometimes we do that intentionally. We'll do videos that we know will do poorly because we're like, no, this is important. Like, it has to get out. Like, it's just relevant to. I wouldn't say that we do it intentionally. We just know that it needs to be done right. and we know it's going to flop. Yeah. So well, we that's what, yes. But we don't go out of our way to, like, Look like a shitty video. Right, right, right. Correct. It's not a shitty video. It's an important video that nobody watches because all they care about is cops and crashes. You know? Exactly. No, there's like it's funny because having done this now for this many years, I, I have a reasonably good idea about like I can kind of uh oh he, he freeze again. Yeah. All right, it's the Gabe Stephen Ben show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the drinking show. Let's all drink. <laughs> <laughs> Are we? Can back. you hear us now? Oh, oh, you're back. The show again. You're back. Okay. What the hell? We can hear you the whole time. Yeah. Really? That was weird. That was really weird. <laughs> weird. Okay. Well, anyway. But some of the videos really surprise us with yeah, how no, well they do. There's still videos every once in a while where you're like, oh. <laughs> I was not well. expecting that to do that well. Okay. Or that poorly. Or that, yeah. And then, yeah. There's other times we're like, this would be amazing. And then it's like, oh, wow. No one watched that. Damn. You were know, trying to teach somebody something. And we all, oh, I don't know what's this. I mean, part of the problem is like, I don't really like doing clickbait. And so that, that really hurts because clickbait works. So, Exotic you know. insurance porn, <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> Dude, that is not funny, John. Mm hmm. That is literally not funny. No. Wow, dude. <laughs> dude. Don't be funny. I know. Take take your money back. I, that's not even funny. Jeez. Damn. Yeah. You got your cruel shoes on. God. That's like my don't that's, tempt fate like that. That's not a good. Because <laughs> you know it'll happen. God. The, you, so like, actually, legit. Oh, so here's something we haven't really talked about, and I'm just gonna talk about it loosely. Because uh, we don't want to go into details until everything's settled. But with the California, they actually assigned an investigator to the situation. Now, granted, it's mostly because the value, it's, the value of the car is so high, right? They're not going to just like hand over six figures. So, but the investigator was like, these are some very unusual circumstances. Because, <laughs> like, He's like, I saw the videos. I saw the Howard caught fire and all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and we're did, like, did you ask him if he like shared and subscribed? <laughs> <laughs> I should have. That would have been awesome. So he should have given him a nefarious activity shirt. <laughs> yeah, I, I should send him a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you're watching right now, Mr. Insurance Man. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Mr. Investigator. No, because it's one of those things where, like, the truth is so crazy that, like, you almost would have a hard time making it up. So it's like, well, I mean, what am I supposed to do? I could, I could, I could dumb it down and lie, or I can tell the truth and keep it crazy. <laughs> right? So it's like, I guess. I guess I'm gonna keep it real. So you know, truth is stranger than keep it real. Yeah, it's just. <sighs> anyway, <sighs> yes. 
Do you think they're really filming in on these things like the Tesla when they happen? I know. Jeez. Who knew about it? You and Josh? Yeah, Josh. How did so how did you know that? about that? Richard told me. <laughs> oh, Richard told me. How did oh, Richard find was... out? He's not even a business owner. <laughs> Richard, Richard only found out because he happened to text me like right after the car. And you're like, and I I'm was like, sitting here this afternoon. Yeah. Richard, so you know, you're like, yeah. So, so, Daniel, you still got the Aston? Or are you thinking about a new car for the uh, the trip? I'm going to keep the Aston no matter what. But I'm going to probably buy a 458 for the trip this year. All Ooh. right. That's the idea. I'm trying to find someone that could help me find a car. I know. I, 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 know it. Good. <laughs> I got a guy. I got a guy. Well, I I a guy. Yeah. Through in about two weeks, if that happens, I'll buy it. If it doesn't happen, then I will keep the Aston for the trip. There nice. All right. Nice. Wasn't, wasn't Tyler? Oh, where's Tyler, by the way? I didn't even realize. Oh, he's, he's, he's in the middle of packing for his move. Okay. He said he'd try to call around nine if he could. Okay. Yeah, okay. He said he was looking for a uh, potential... Four, He's still looking for a four five eight. Yeah, he almost bought the one. Is uh, is Pietro b- busy filming a uh, plugs commercial? <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably join right now. He's at the doctor. <laughs> That's the keyword. Order, he fil- uh, celebrates Festivus. <laughs> yeah, a Festivus for the rest of us. <laughs> why, why, because he's George Costanza. Oh. <laughs> special or eight cool, man. Yeah. It's not funny when I think it's four five eight. eight. Oh, the car yeah. show was pretty cool. The guy who had special the special Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That oh. was a sweet car. Yeah. Which one? Dude, the spec was That was wild. Solid. Which that one? was one of the highest option four five eights I've seen. I just couldn't get over how cool that was. That's the car show? Uh, he may have had more options. Yeah, here. the carbon in the back and... Um, it was pretty close. It was pretty close. Yeah, but that was up there. I mean, that was you had the race seats, carbon. Race yeah, seats. yeah, he had the race seats. So yeah. Although I had the, I mean, the Daytonas are an option, but um, but the carbon ones are more. more expensive. Yeah, yeah, option. substantially more. But yeah. trust me, they're not as comfortable for a week. <laughs> Dude, I I drove with yeah. Terry from Florida to Indiana in. In that four or five eight with the carbon seats, and I mean, we survived, but it was, yeah. you know, you, it's the difference between like getting out of the car and walking up to the gas station when you're filling up, and getting out of the car and going, oh, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> I have a perfect <laughs> fold-up shirt that goes right in the back, right here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a lumbar support. Exactly. I actually thought your carbon fiber seats were pretty comfortable, Jocko. I think they are. They just yeah. after four days they get. It gets a little long in the tooth. I think yeah. on the 430, I feel the opposite. My, my 430 has the carbon seats, and I freaking love my 430 seats. I've sat in Daytona seats, and they're just not comfortable for me. And the carbon buckets just hold me right. We did the Colorado rally in it, and yeah. Chris and I were both about the same size, and we both rode in it, and it was great for both of us. You know? Some seats just fit that some people differ. Right. Like, right. Yeah. The yeah. seats in Carrie's car, you would not think that a person with my build would fit in them. They were so comfortable, though. Like, ah, they just well, fit you, all my fat rolls. I was, really was going to say, when you when you shove something in and there's no space left for air, <laughs> it, just like, it just like welds and becomes one. It creates a vacuum. Whatever, it's comfortable. It's the same problem. <laughs> yeah, I heard that back pretty badly, car racing, so that's why. I could see that. Yeah, it seems like it's a... a yeah. Hazard of the business. Yeah. You know, well, no suspension. Jo- I agree. Jocko's 458, or sorry, 488 Vista is it's gorgeous. It came out great. It is. It Jocko's is. Four, 458 is awesome, too. I love the spec on that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> John, sorry, gallon of gas I made. By the way, what's the price of gas? Chief 87 stuff on up. Where's everyone at? 399 for 87 in Minnesota. I haven't, I haven't had to fill up in. It's like. Four forty-five premium today. Was it four sixty-nine premium? I saw a diesel uh, at four ninety-nine, and I had uh, a yeah, forty-eight yeah. gallon. By uh, right by Chris's, um, uh, right by Expel, it was five thirty-nine for premium today. Oh, you're yeah. kidding! Yeah, Damn, five thirty-nine for premium. Oh, I filled yeah, up. Uh, I filled up my. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I filled up my F two fifty a couple of days back. Diesel tank. It's it's only the small tank, twenty eight gallons or whatever. It's like one thirty, one hundred and thirty. I just think filling up. I noticed a quarter tank. diesel diesel went up more diesel than up gas. Way more, way more. 
Adam's truck's probably going to be a two hundred dollar fill up next time. I just did the math. Two hundred and thirty two dollars. Two hundred and thirty two dollars. I'm sorry. Two hundred and thirty nine dollars. <laughs> because I have a forty eight gallon tank. So I'm just gonna, when it hits a quarter tank, I'm just going to fill it up just to keep the price. <laughs> Oh my lord! Yeah, that's all. Basic, oh, shit. basic Tyler, eighty-seven you're... in Pennsylvania in Gettysburg area is four forty-five for but regular that's, or premium. That's basic eighty-seven is four forty-five. Four forty-five. And the, I found one gas station that has ninety-one that they didn't change the price. It's under four dollars. <laughs> I've been going there for over a week. <laughs> oh, wow! Keep, keep that private. Yes. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah. San Francisco Bay Area Diesel, six seventy nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. you're not kidding, man. My uh, my uh, wow. uh, kid's godfather lives in uh, Los Angeles. Right by his house, it was seven dollars for yeah. premium. Right over seven, seven eight bucks. bucks. Yep. Yeah, right over seven bucks. What? Yeah. Holy crap! Six seventy three gallon for eighty seven. Yeah. Where, Where the hell is that? Why is why is that uh, uh, diesel cheaper than regular? Where is the, yeah, where is that? Like, jeez. Because it still might be worth it for me to drive that far. <laughs> 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 Normal uh, race road, 10 bucks a gallon. Yeah. <laughs> that, so that's, uh, funny enough, uh, Tyler, if you're watching this in the background or something, was asking, hey, can we help transport him, his stuff with my truck and trailer? And legitimately, I'm like, Oh crap! Like the diesel, the it's diesel. Not that we don't want to help you, it's right? I'm like, I'm like, diesel. um, hmm. <laughs> I'm actually doing that for my buddies moving from Gettysburg to Florida to Orlando, and my trailer is full of his stuff. And oh, he's man. like, I'll just pay for the gas and tolls, and I'm like, okay, yeah, said, damn right you will. <laughs> just, just so you know, it was three thousand dollars in fuel to Colorado and back. Yep. So <laughs> not cheap. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you have a gas. Oh well, yeah, you got a gas. Yeah, it's not diesel. Ooh. That's gonna be even worse, dude. Ben, you need to haul your trailer at like eighty-five miles an hour. Get all the way oh, to my, Colorado. When I had my F one hundred and fifty, I got six miles a gallon on that EcoBoost V six, doing 85, 90 miles an hour all the way to Colorado and back. Six miles a gallon. <laughs> worse, I was at I was at eight, and I thought that was bad. Yeah, that's the, best, the best part was Ben could only go like 150 miles on a tank of gas. Yeah. <laughs> I had I had an intercooler and a blow off valve and stuff, so I'd make all these fun noises because it was in high boost the whole time. So I pull up to these guys and go, psh, 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 and it was going like, <laughs> <laughs> but it was doing six miles a gallon. It was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back from Colorado, the Vanquish, I was able to get 425 vials per tank. Damn. Whoa, how big is the tank? 18 gallons. Wow. I have no idea how big. Cutting through the air. <laughs> Good aerodynamics. <laughs> oh. And they froze it again. Drink. Oh, oh, oh. They're back. <laughs> They're back. 830 miles home in one day. That's actually pretty comforting, so. Man, Ben Ben gives gallons to the mile. <laughs> yeah. it sounds like you're on a boat, dude. <laughs> legit, like if we're gonna take the boat out this this summer, it's gonna be like we're just gonna idle everywhere. Yeah, or you like you like get it up to speed and you like turn it off. You're like that's right. <laughs> <laughs> no more seventy mile an hour runs or sixty nine. <laughs> dude, nice. I mean, we could, we could burn. I've taken that boat out and burned forty plus gallons of fuel in one afternoon. Yep. Wow. Just doing a couple of high speed runs in it. Yep. Because I mean, it's a five hundred two big block. That's a hawk and. And you're you're spinning at like forty six hundred RPMs, nonstop. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a seventy gallon gas tank. Oh, oh, that's a good question. How do Uber drivers make money right now? I guess. They're they not. Don't. Hopefully, they're getting paid more because otherwise, they're not making money. Yeah. I mean, you weren't making money when two bucks. It was two bucks a gallon. You know. Yeah. yeah so. I wonder how much it costs to get like Uber Eats delivered right now. Oh. Still the same. Those people are screwed. Right? Uber Uber jobs. You know? Are there drivers out there to do it? 
I think oh, so. order some food. <laughs> yeah, like, that's the thing. We got some the other day. I could have gotten, I should have ordered some, uh, some of my uh, sour mixer. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, here's the thing that's weird about the current gas thing is I think it's going to be temporary because it's, it's not like where we had like a complete economic meltdown like we did the last time gas prices went ape shit in 2007 and 8 because that was just like complete global economy meltdown, right? And this one's like, it's a forced situation because of geopolitical situations in Europe. So... And supply. Supply is the big one. Supply is like. But the supply is problematic because of that. Right. Well, but the supply won't catch up unless Russia gets figured out, you know, because the supply is coming from, there, a lot of it is coming from Russia. So. Right. Well, the problem we is. 5%. Well, it's almost worse for Europe than it is for us. Much worse. We don't much, get... worse. much worse for Europe. Yes. And they're frozen again. We're back to the Gabe Steven bench. <laughs> Let's there drink. When you guys come back, yeah. it looks like one of the videos from the trip where everyone just goes, woo. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a yeah, time lapse or something. <laughs> oh, well. It's too funny. <laughs> anyway. Better uh, steer the ship back to normal course. Yeah, yeah. We should probably not go there. It's going to get political and everything's going to go bad. And we're gonna... no, political, no. We're not going political. Well, I'll have a water if you get a chance to. Oh, Dan's like, I'm not, I don't have to drive home tonight. No, I, I rode with Jocko because I'm like, hey, I don't drink. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I thought he was kidding. <laughs> no, I, I, Jocko was texting me. He's like, hey, what time are we going to Howard? I'm like, 7.30. He's like, okay. I'm like, hey, you want to pick me up? He's like, ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, no, pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll have a little one in a glass of uh, bubble water. Is that a and those flag? Is that a, paint, a painting of a car behind Adam? Like, is that a, a TV screen or a painting? It's a TV screen. No, that's the, the reflection of the TV oh, right. screen. Yeah, yeah. With, uh, with that, Richards Richards four five eight in Colorado. Is that the picture I took? Uh, the fog. That's from the no, first year. No, that's first year. Uh, okay. First year. That's, that's in the, the um, Rocky Mountains. Rocky Mountain National Park. Okay, perfect. Which we don't do anymore. Yeah, it was boring. Well, no, but the park was great. Getting to the park sucked. Yeah, well, and then on top of that, if did you know if you get a speeding ticket in the national park, it's a federal thing. Yes. Oh, I mean, yeah. yeah, we got pulled over, but we didn't get yeah. a ticket. I did not know that, Adam. Thanks for letting me know now. After I went to Mexico multiple times from that national park. <laughs> yeah, that hey, happened on dude. Brent we were at- on the on the first rally at Mesa Verde. National Park, Brent Cuddleton and I went to Mexico multiple times, many, many, many times. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, so when we when we went on the Bull Run GT rally, a guy got pulled over in a national park going like 40 over. And so he like got the ticket, right? And it was like, you have a court date. It wasn't like oh, a, no. you can just pay it. It was like, you have a court date. So he hires a lawyer. The lawyer's all like, hey, blah, blah, blah. I'm here representing your, you know, the, the client. And the judge is like, the client needs to be here in person. Oof. He's got like five days to get here. Oof. So he had to fly out there just to go deal with this damn ticket. I'm like, wow. dude. Wow. Pop, pop, pop. And you know that there's no, the, the feds ain't going to like go oh, yeah. down and charge or anything like no. that. Like, no. You're going to feel the full force of yep. defense. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, trust me. When we got pulled over in Pikes Peak, uh, that thought was in the back of my mind. I'm like, "Oh shit, we're in a federal." Yeah, but that dude was full of shit. He didn't. I know. I didn't have any. You weren't doing anything on that. No, no mandatory no. stop. He was like, "You're going 20 over," and I'm like, "No, we weren't." Oh, no, straight up. I said you might be going. There was too much traffic to go 20 over. Yep. Right. Exactly. Like, if we if if we went 20 over, it was for like 64 feet. Yeah. <laughs> His yeah. big thing was that we didn't do the mandatory stop, yeah. which we didn't yeah. even know no, about. We didn't know and we stopped and let the brakes cool anyway. Yeah, I didn't see a sign there that was, said mandatory stop. There was a suspiciously non-existent number of signs for something that's mandatory. Yeah. Right? 
It'd be so right. cool. Remember, your car was kind of like smoking, so it was like it was more important to pull off the yeah, road yeah, than exactly. to stop for the check. And on top of that, almost all the cars, well, not all of them, but almost all of them have carbon ceramic right, brakes. I was, say, <laughs> I was like, you know, I have carbon ceramic, so the hotter they get, the better they work. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, if you did the temp check and there were like 200 yeah. or something, you're like, oh, they're too hot. I've been like, great. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> right Imagine if there. they did do that and they wouldn't let you go and you tried to explain it to them. And no. you know that they're no. not going to. No. They it's wouldn't get it. I want to speak to your supervisor. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I'm going to Google stuff for you now and show you why you're dumb. You get some care waves. <laughs> care <laughs> manager. Mm. That would actually make me angry, though. Park rangers have a choice on the type of tickets they can give you. One type does not show up in your driving record. I got one of those on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Ooh. Well, at least it's not on your record, right? Wait, Blue Ridge Parkway is in, in, in a park? A second a section of it is in the National Park. Oh, shit. <laughs> Carrie? <laughs> <laughs> so when we go to do that trip this year, we'll definitely have to keep an eye out for that sign. <laughs> Carrie, I did some shit shit on Blue Ridge Parkway. <laughs> <laughs> God, you guys were playing with fire. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Very nice>. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably just listening to us in the background. Yeah. He's working, but he had to take a moment. He just heard that. He goes, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got the <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, is all of Blue Ridge Parkway federal? Maybe it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know to skip that road then. Yeah. It's oh. so beautiful, though. Oh, my God. Dude, I like this. Like, All you have to do is outrun. It's, it's, it's like 30. That's, that's like the whole, like, the bear theory, right? Like, you go camping with your friends. Like, you just can't be the fastest runner. You just can't be the slowest. No, it's like, it was like, what type of gun are you going to bring to shoot the bears? And you're like, I don't shoot the bears. All I need is a 22 to shoot you in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that road that was closed that we were going to go on? But it, oh, like, Eight Week Canyon? Uh, I don't remember the name, and I don't want to tell people so they don't drive it, but yeah, that road. Yeah. The, the one with the, the one, with, yeah, one with the one with the boulder. Yeah, the, the rock. Yeah, yeah. Part of the house. Well, I, I hope you get to do it next year. I mean, that was a one-off fluke that happened to be I would because hope of the rain. That, that I would hope they got the boulder out of the way and repaired the road in a year. Yeah, yeah. especially since it would have caused such a, a huge uh, detour for it. Like, it's not like it's a five mile detour. Well, I no, when they said oh, we're waiting for the blasting crew. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, it can't be that big. And I was like, oh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah. When they show us the picture, you're like, oh, <laughs> oh, okay. It's the size of a house. <laughs> yes, yeah, Fred. Cool. Yes, Judge drifted a Ferrari around a truck and avoided mailboxes as he was drifting. <laughs> what? Where is that? In cul de sac? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I've never heard about that. Yes. Well, it was in the video. I thought you were talking like intentionally. Well, no, and that dude um, that was driving that truck, he was a you know a bro dozer type oh, guy. Yeah. Jeez, that was that was bad. What is the price for Aston? Can you clarify? Which Maybe Aston? Aston? Richard's, uh, Aston. Aston. Richard's Aston? For our Aston? No. The one we're oh, selling? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. There's that's a Clarify, yeah, Daniel, please. Daniel, name a price. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I mean, which Aston and three dollars yeah. and three cents. <laughs> I hate when I get I get emails from people that are totally out of context. They're like, "Hey, so like they'll be like that, like so, uh, how much for that thing?" And I'm like, well, <laughs> "Yeah, so that thing? No, oh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, a little bit more context here, bro." Yeah. yeah. Dude, I'm talking what, to my wife. What, there's four of them. Had... I'll be calm. And they're frozen again. Drink. Yep. <laughs> drink. <laughs> That's our drink. Oh, we are. <laughs> drink. What? You're back. You're back. So he says, "Your." I'm the back. Ish. So there's two. Okay. So the problem is there's two Astons in your the video. Is and not, Dan. He's got an Aston. We've got an Aston. I'm assuming you mean our Aston? The dealership one for sale? The dealership one that's for sale, that one is, what, 140-something? 
Well, the price dropped. Yeah, but it's still 140 something. I thought it dropped to this. Your uh, your video is still frozen, boys. Yeah, We're still frozen. Is? Yeah, you're all smiling. We can hear you. <laughs> we can hear you, but your video. We need frozen. to drink more. Yes, let's drink. No. No. <laughs> quick, slug one yeah, down when I, I can't the see. Below <laughs> man. Do we have an eagle rare there, or what is that? Weller. Uh, Thought, Let's go. Are we still frozen? I thought yes. this was a little over. Yeah. But you're, you look like you're having a hell of a time, Jocko. <laughs> well, look, if you're interested, I have to drive look, home. If you're interested in the ass, then just email sales at ngsupercars.com. Yes. There you go. Oh, you're back. Can you see us now? Did that come through right. or is it still? You're back. Still almost you're good. We're back? Maybe. We're back. <laughs> We're back? Yes, you're back. You're back. Mm-hmm. Next time it happens, we should just all leave that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <We're looking up. laughs> that would be pretty funny. That's good, Adam. I like now, that. Now we can see the Aston. I'm going to get a refill. I'll be right back. There's the Aston yeah. that he's talking about. What is it? I said, now we can see the Aston. Adam, you got it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Other way. Yeah. That, it looks white. Yeah. It looks white from here. The DBL out? No, it's silver. It's just the the yeah, lighting. It's a, it's a really pretty car, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a beautiful car. AOL. So, who, who's Viper? Uh, Omar. Oh right. Hey, what's he doing to it? He's like he's got the whole suspension. He's replacing the suspension, I think. Because man, it's all gone. Yeah, the whole suspension is like the brakes are hanging. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything's like just yanked out of it right now. Have you driven one of those? No, I haven't. I've ridden in them. They ride like a garbage truck. Oh, they do. Yeah, they're I mean, terrible. But I want to try driving one. Well, how'd they win so many car races with that? Well, when you throw in that much horsepower, it's I just, mean, I mean, what is that? Brute a V10 force. truck motor. It is. Thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jonathan yeah, Car GT all day for me. All day Car GT. I hate, you know, I am not a fan of the Bugattis. Yep, at all. Not I just think they're yeah. ugly, number one. Yep. No Is soul. Is for an oil change? Come on. Yeah. yeah. No, it's Carrera GT all day. And they don't even sound that good, right? No, they sound right, terrible. I've never heard one in person, but, I mean. I just, yeah. can't, will any W16 engine ever sound good? Like, no. is that, that's probably a product of the type of engine. Well, it was right. 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 Now, if you can get like yeah, a, let's go. Isn't, isn't the uh, Rolls Royce Merlin a V16? Would have to be a V or a W. I don't know other V16 engines. Holy crap. Is there, someone the correct? Maybe it's a, no, I thought it was bigger than the V12. Rolls Royce Merlin the P51 engine? Yeah, I thought it was a V16. Was it? Oh, I don't know. No, no, I think it is. Is it V16? The V16 airplane engine? Yeah, the Merlin. Let's look it up. Some Google it real quick. No, it was a B. But dude, it's like 14 liters. You lost me at Google. Someone Google that real quick. I'm looking. What happened to that power? What did I do with my phone? It's a V12. It's a V12? 27 liter. 27 <laughs> liter. That's the size of this table. Yeah. V12. Imagine the size of a Coke bottle. Jay Lennon's got one of those on the stand. Mm-hmm. That's just unbelievable. I want to know the RPMs of 27 liters of pistons going up. That's like 2,000, 2,200? Oh, probably, yeah. two, three 3,000 RPM, maybe? If, if that. If that. that. No, no, 3,000. Your truck red line's at 3,000. I know, my truck. No, 31. Ooh, 31 <laughs> big numbers. It here. does? Oh, yeah. Sure. Cheryl, I've got balls hanging out under my yeah. It's an inline thick 6.7 liter engine. I don't think I realized the pistons are like that big. Yeah, they're like I, mine is a 6.7 <laughs> liter V8, and mine red lines at 4,000. Oh yeah. Dude, did you know? Okay, on the big like commercial ships, like the shipping 20, vessels, 2800. Yeah. That's more than I so would the big, big, like massive ship engines. They actually allow you to disconnect the pistons while it's running. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. They're only they're only turning like a hundred and something RPMs or some shit. How do you like yeah. a V32 or one of those? No, they're 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 not that many cylinders, but the pistons are like you know literally you bigger than this stand, table. You can stand in them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my them. gosh. 
Well, and, and like you know, like, the fuel they use is not like it's like heavy crude. It's like it's like bullshit fuel. It's like the crappiest crap fuel known to human that's race. Why that's, have, that's why that's why they trail such a big black smoke. Yeah. yeah. At that point, it has to be. It's so thick. It has to be preheated. The only engines like that I've seen have been in tugboats. Yeah, yeah, basically, you know that sort of stuff. So Dan, three thousand RPM at takeoff. What? Three thousand RPM at takeoff. Thirteen hundred horsepower. Yeah, anymore. Balloon goes supersonic. There's a lot of efficiency. Thirteen. It's only thirteen hundred horsepower. I'm surprised. But what's the torque on it? Probably like twenty thousand foot pounds of torque. Be, yeah, if you're not careful, you go throttle, you'll drive it right off the runway. But the torque will take you off the God. runway. Yeah, that's what I never thought about. Doesn't that. say what its torque is. Oh no! Did we freeze again? He says no, you're good. That's why fighter jets oh, okay. engines not straight in. Yeah, but it's slow the air. Engine. If you oh, ever... that fire kind of hurt the Howard, that's why we got a bad connection. Oh, it could be. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> if you're really cool. bored, sometime when you're not watching this video, if you're bored. Google or go on YouTube and search for um, the P47 startup video. Thunderbolt. A Thunderbolt. Oh, that big ass radial engine, you know? That Was that the one they started with so a cool. shotgun shot? Well, no. So, like, it's got, it's got its own starter built in, but it's hilarious because, like, it starts rotating, right? And it's like just barely rotating. And raw fuel is just pissing out of the exhaust. <laughs> it's just like, it's in there spinning real slow. And I'll see here just going. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, the fuel's just dumping out of the engine. And it finally just like kicks over and starts going and fire is shooting out of it and shit. You're like, you're like, that's pretty badass. <laughs> like, I need one of those in my car. <laughs> god, could you imagine the maintenance on that thing? Oh my god. Anybody raced or ran shifter carts? I have not. Any Ooh, I've I have driven, driven one on autocross before, but not mm. nothing up to the limit of it. Obviously, it's it's obnoxiously fast. Yeah, you're sitting an inch off the ground. It is so crazy. Yeah. Well, and there's no suspension. Yeah, and it's it's a yeah. <laughs> it's a solid rear axle, so you're sliding around everything. Yeah, yep. no you I better be. Had a guy yeah. had, he had a he had a cart. It had twin McCullers one twenties in it, and he it would go 140 miles an hour. Yep. Holy and shit! And I was like, "You are insane." I said, this, is, this is a great question. Which is more iconic, the F40 or the Kuntosh? Kuntosh. I mean, I'm gonna think iconic. I would say the Kuntosh. Yeah. 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 Lots, of, people, lots of non car people will know what a Kuntosh is. Right. Not a yes. lot of. And I think that's because that. of like its movie pedigree. Yes. yes. It's I mean, definitely look at most of us had Kuntashes on our bedroom walls growing up, you know? Right. So, right. Exactly. The and, and the Kuntash, they made the Kuntash for almost 30 years. Yeah. Have you driven one? No, but I've heard they're garbage. Has anyone yeah. driven one? Have you been in Richard, one? Ben, Richard drove driving? one. Richard drove one and he was like, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that would break my heart to go, car of my dreams. You're like, Oh, They're, it sucks. It's, not, <laughs> it's supposed to be really bad, but I mean, come on, who cares? So you don't want to meet your heroes type yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wait, have you seen? Have you seen the interior? Have you seen the interior of them? Well, they're sort of. I love the seats. They're so thin. Yeah. The seats yeah. are. Yeah, they're super thin. Yeah, those were. They're, they're cocked and offset, but then the dashboard is hilarious. It's like a box. It literally, it looks like someone took a Pinewood Derby car <laughs> and carved out like gauges no. into it. It's what's the what's the name of the no. guy that drove it to the Howard the other day? The white one with the red interiors. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah such yeah, a yeah. car, but man, there's so. We, and to be fair, I would still rock the shit out of one. I'm just yeah. saying, oops, they're <laughs> terrible. I bet you can't see out of that car either. No, carry no, race shifter like, carts with Dan Weldon. This is it's like the Mercy Lago. The Mercy Mercy Lago is horrible in every way, but I still love it. <laughs> yeah. I the one time I drove it to lunch and then back. It's a funny car. <laughs> like I don't know how else to describe it. It's My other than was, funny. I thought you needed to put curb feelers upside down on the front fenders so you could see where the front of the car was. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's the thing about Lamborghinis, though, is the front end is so short. But it, but at the same time, you can't see oh, anything. Yeah. Right, but it's so short, though. Like, yeah, it's sort of like the old indie cars where they had the cab forward and you led with your feet. Oof. Yeah. 
Functional yeah. art piece. I agree. I like that term. Functional <laughs> art piece. Like Jocko, it. can you yeah. see the um when yeah. you're driving yeah. the, when you're driving the pizza, can you see in the hood scoop? Like down into the uh you can actually um, inside you, your ears. Yeah, but I mean you can you got a better sense, you can actually get a sense where the front end is. Yeah. Because you'll see part way down the hood. Okay. Yeah, although that's the one thing about Ferraris is they are very good driver's cars. Or at least I should say correction. Correction, sorry. <laughs> the the mid-engine Ferraris are good driver's cars. There. The yeah. front engine Ferrari, like the 5A9, terrible. You can't even know where the front yeah, is. You can't see shit. I mean the, the hood's like 20 Forever. feet long. <laughs> that must be what it's like to drive a bike though, then. Yeah, yeah. 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 But but to their own credit, you can see the hood most of the way. So you, you kind of have some kind of flat. some perspective. With some perspective, but it's so big that you're like, uh eh. Daytona was like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure that Daytona was probably. But you similar. can see a lot of it before it dropped down. Yep. 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 Exactly. Yeah. The, ooh, the worst modern supercar I've heard to drive is Celine oh. S7. I used to race cars against Steve Celine. Did you really? <laughs> yes. awesome. awesome. How do you do? At that point, he was faster than I was. Ah, uh, we won't tell anyone that. Hopefully, no one heard that. Yeah, joke. <laughs> Tens of people are watching. The Tens of people are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, buy a scud. I mean, those are expensive. Yeah. Uh, speaking of expensive, a on um, bring a trailer today a 996 gt3 with 6,000 miles sold for two hundred and fifteen thousand dollars that pre-pandemic that was an 85 oh, 75 oh thousand dollars two hundred and fifteen thousand dollars when i saw that shit. when that email i was telling you about yeah. that when that email came through because it alerts me yeah like, yeah and i was like these people this are is ridiculous <laughs> Oh Two, for a 996 GT3, two hundred and fifteen thousand dollars plus five grand in fees. <laughs> I like this idea. Thank you. I well, not right you. now though. No. Can we even find a Hugo? <laughs> yeah, good luck finding one. Let me go to Facebook Marketplace real quick. <laughs> Dude, back when I was a kid, those are Russian, right? No, they're Yugoslavian. No, Yugoslavian. Yeah, my neighbor across the street had one when I was a kid. Really. And so, like, I remember, like, going out there as a kid, and we'd, like, go look at it, and, it, like, it basically has, like, a speedometer and a fuel gauge, and that's it. <laughs> that's uh, all you need? Yeah. It's, like, everything else, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You go those. Yeah. Oh, you go off the bridge. One of guys, what, what yeah. of them blew off the bridge. Dude, yeah, back on our bridge. <laughs> yes. Is that what they like, say? You go off the bridge? Dude, no. Back in, like, in the 90s, I yeah. think. Yep. Yeah. There was a windy, windy day on the Mackinac Bridge, and someone in the Yugo There's got a woman. There's a woman in the Yugo got blown right off the bridge. Yeah, you go off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I, I rode over that bridge on a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. Did, you, did you go on the part where it's like this, the graded yep. part? Ooh, That's pretty scary. Sketchy. What's funny is my motorcycle did fine because I actually uh, dark sided, so it has a car tire on the back. And most of the time, that isn't good for performance. But on like grates and stuff like that, it was dead solid. Was it a Goldwing or a Valkyrie or something? It was a Valkyrie. <laughs> Badass. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Did you have the six pipes coming out the back? No, I, I have a standard exhaust. Badass. Okay. Cool. Oh, look at this. This guy's like, I live in Michigan. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm from Michigan and he lives in Michigan. Yeah, I still live there. But the great part about Michigan is northern Michigan, there are not many people. Yeah, you're so far up north, but no. so you can go. Yeah, yeah. You can, so good here, roads, you can go fast Michigan, and hide your car. Where here, do you live in Michigan? Right here. What time I you live. Know? Put your hand up again. I live right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a friend who lives in Bel Air. That's, but that's like it's two hours. That's south. like Richie Rich, Michigan. Not uh. Are you talking like by Detroit? Isn't it? No, it's it, like way up north. Yeah. Oh, well, it's just south of Detroit, Detroit. California. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Then you see not, the ad. Yeah, not Maryland, Bel Air. No, I thought you were talking. I thought, I'm going to make it up. Ben, you see the Cayman it. GT4 RS, the new new one coming out this summer? It's going to be so ridiculous. Oh, but, dude, so yeah, hard to get, right? Ever. Impossible. Oh. You think it's going to be impossible to get? Dude, it's going to be the best car. That's awesome. you, the GT4? I'm How so hard do you think it's going to yeah. get? You're you're gonna gonna be be it's going to be 100 over sticker. 
Yeah. So like two, two, two forty, two fifty at least. Uh, I searched specifically for. Dude, you're in South Bend. How did I not know that? South Bend. That's where Dude. my family's from. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, wow. All yeah. these people are from that area. Look at. I am like 30 minutes from Auburn Hills. Oh. oh my God. Yeah, huge. Too bad. It must be so cold. They're on so, the their computers. <laughs> so funny little thing. If you take I-94, <laughs> exit 69. Nice. Is in climax. <laughs> oh, yes, climax <laughs> so, it is. So, it is. Serious. I always enjoy it when you go by Big Beaver. Big Beaver Road. <laughs> yes. And that was what I was saying next. Big Beaver Road in Detroit, which is over by the Woodward Dream yes. Cruise. Oh, oh, man. First time I was like going to the Woodward Dream Cruise, I'm like, wait, are we literally, literally driving to Big Beaver Road? <laughs> <laughs> well, to Michigan now for that. <laughs> no, and then exit, what is it? Um, so there's exit 69 is climax, and then exit 88 is something funny too. I forgot what it was. <laughs> Two fat ladies Dude. road. <laughs> then there's a hell Michigan. There's a hell Michigan, that's right. Yeah, because they're always joking, like, hell froze over. <laughs> and it does. And it does every year. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Carrie wants to split a GD4 RS with me now. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to keep her in the summer and I keep yes. her in the winter. <laughs> yeah. That would so work good for like come? a right. Are you getting one of those, Ben? Uh, man, if I can get an allocation at sticker, I will put down the like money those. today. <laughs> but it's gonna be impossible to find one anywhere. Those, Adam? Yeah. Find one good period. luck. Good luck. I know of a bunch down at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> But they're really deep. How about ZZXYZ Road on 15 going towards Vegas? That's a real thing. Really? <laughs> you can see that. Someone actually, someone was pointing out some community had a this road, that road, and the other road. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Wasn't it in a neighborhood? Yes. Yeah. So it's all the that. same neighborhood. So I was like, which road do you live on? This road. No, no. <laughs> It's that road. the road. <laughs> there, there's one off of uh, 1431 called Nameless Road. Yes, yeah, Nameless Road. Yeah. Nameless Road. <laughs> I like Which, that. By having that name, it is no longer a nameless road. Yeah. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> Zing. Call <laughs> you. Jeez. Yeah, there's some interesting road names. Hmm. I've seen that many times. Hmm. What what have you seen many times? Um, Big Beaver? <laughs> Big Beaver Road. <laughs> I'll never forget the first time I saw that. I was like, this has got to be a joke. <laughs> no, dude. Oh, that was great. Dan, you doing a moving video? Oh, of like our actual house move? move? Yeah, we'll we'll film. I don't know if I'll film the move, but like I plan on like filming the new house and stuff once we get oh, yeah. there. Part, part, style. part of it, well, so part of it, I've kind of been a little bit, um, I don't know, like light talking about it because number one, I don't want to show any content of the house prior to us owning it because it's not our property. Yes. So like, I feel like that's kind of like, yeah. right. Is Dan gonna, here? Well, <laughs> so. Also, because out of respect to the current owner, yeah, I agree. Like it's her stuff. Like if I show pictures of the interior of the house, that's her shit. That's her house. It's what yeah. you know. Like I'm not gonna do that. That's yeah. that's mean. That's sort of a it's a dick thing to do. So um, so anyway, I don't want to jinx myself. <laughs> yeah. But also you like smell smoke. I mean, <laughs> look, we, got, we got a small audience here, but I'll be honest. I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious with my privacy because i've had people show up at my house yeah and that's not cool so yeah, I, that's I a want, celebrity. Right, it's, it's not that i don't want people to know where i live but i don't want people to know where i live yep. <laughs> yeah. you know so i'm not gonna like i'm gonna be very careful about what we show of the house yeah i can't wait to see what you do with the garage though yeah the, the, so the the existing garage We'll we'll do up because I don't know how long it's gonna take me to build a garage. I think it's gonna take a year. I you think could do a uh, like a steel building, kind of like 
Yeah, yeah I mean, no, it, it, could even, it could even be a year and a half, two years. Yeah. Who knows? The so are you doing a Norton building or something like that, or what are you going to do? I don't know yet. I got to see what the HOA allows. I can see what I got to afford. Yeah. True. That's why we talked about this. So yeah, because the, it has to, the it's HOA requirement. Huh? It's got to match. Yes. If so it's it, got to match, I have a hard time. It's going to be yeah. expensive. Yeah, because yes. it's got to match it's the look of the yeah. house. Yep. If it's yeah, my old HOA had that problem where I was gonna put in a three car detached, and they had to match. They wanted it to match the house exactly, and yeah. the, like including the tile roof and the stucco sides and all this stuff. Yeah. It was gonna be like I think it was one hundred eighty thousand dollars for a three car garage. I said, you know, that's a house. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm I'm currently budgeting over a hundred thousand dollars for it, and I think that's gonna be at least. Would it be a a little light. It might it be. be uh, I think I might need closer to two hundred. Would uh, it be tucked away or visible from? That's the that's what I don't know if the HOA will let me. Is the property is big enough that I could put it back a ways? Yeah. But I don't know if they'll allow that. If they do. You'd have, huh? Sorry, you'd have to drive or make a driveway then, right? To go back uh, there. Yeah, I have to. Ex I have to extend the driveway out a ways. There's um, the driveway already has like a turnaround because it's uh, the, the garages are 90 degrees to the driveway, okay. so that it has a, a yeah, so I could just extend that into nice. the backyard, oh, okay. But uh, otherwise, I could probably pick it up right where the driveway currently ends. But the problem with that is then I'm uh, I, I'm limited by the build line. Because the build line's ten feet in from the the lot oh, line, awesome. which um, only leaves me like twenty two feet. Two car garage. That's it. Yeah. So then I can only go like two car wide until I go back past the house. Then I could go wider. So you can't but build then, out. You gotta build up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need an elevator. You got to build or down. Get really expensive. No, you can't. You can't build down here. Yeah. Too much rock. It right. required dynamite. <laughs> yeah, but you'd never have to worry about that thing caving in. <laughs> it's fun to do. I mean, it might be like the fuses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would honestly, I would ask them if him, like we hook up one of those little yeah, little <laughs> <laughs> like a, a yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Carrie says he's gonna, <laughs> Carrie says he's gonna show up to the new house in a five hundred dollar RV as cousin Eddie. Oh, nice. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be holding a nanny light and walking around your house with my shirt off. Yes, yes. dude. Like <laughs> shitter's full. <Yeah. laughs> I'm gonna make the, the neighbors hate you right off. Oh yeah. No, I, I've already concluded. I'm like, all right. How badly are the neighbors gonna hate me? And <laughs> like, how quickly do I make them hate me? <laughs> well, what you need to do is have Rachel cook you some desserts so that you can and just like go take her. Mom. Yeah, which moves the the before you even move in. Like when I signed on on my current house, I went and gave bottles of wine and cookies to both neighbors before. Like I, I just I said I'm going to be moving in in next month. Here's shit for you. And they wow. love me now. They love me and they do stuff for us all the time. They bring us food all the time. It's awesome. But schmooze with Your them. Your new house? Yeah. Oh, I schmooze with your neighbors before I moved, like when I signed on the house, before moving in. You know, I went and talked to both of them and uh, introduced my kids to them and gave them bottles of wine. And they were so happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely yeah. do that. That's a good yeah. move. I'm going to have to take that. I'm going to do that. Oh, Carrie's okay. right. Ash and. Uh, and Mo can be the schmooze. Oh no, yeah, yeah. No, if I take if I take Ash and Mo and a bottle of wine and some Not cookies. It. Yeah. Golden. Do it now before you even move in. That way when you move in, they'll offer to come help you move in. You know, it's so great. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We're gonna wrap it up in two minutes, just so everyone knows. So if you got any good questions, get them in. <laughs> I saw Adam tapping the watch or the clock on his phone. <laughs> like, hey, get it done, get it done. <laughs> and they're frozen again. Oh, they're drink. frozen. Drink, oh, drink, drink, drink. 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 <laughs> drink. <laughs> they're gone. Ah, so good. They're gone. Toast. They're really That's hilarious. <laughs> we can hear you the whole time. We <laughs> <laughs> made a drinking game out of this. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, they're frozen. Drink, drink. <laughs> can, you, can you see us too? Yeah, yeah we can see. It was totally, like, it looked totally normal here. Nice, nice move, game. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> weren't funny. supposed to see that, Jackal. <laughs> well, maybe it's a good place to stop. All right, guys. Great to see well, you all. Yes. You guys, you guys gonna keep partying there? No, we're gonna go home. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining right. us. That was uh, a lot until, of fun. until next Thursday. Good night. Good night. See everybody. Yes. See you next, next Thursday. Bye. Later. <laughs>